Marley and Brian Maverick Cotton lives in Cedar Springs. He says his Saturday visit to Grand Haven Beach was his first trip in about two years. Some may say he was clearly meant to be there. I'm right there and I don't want to be the one that just walks away from it and say it's not my job. Even though Maverick Cotton works as an electrician, he added hero to his job title this weekend. We caught up with him at work today. Oh, it was just pretty hot out. It's this weekend summer heat that led him here on the Grand Haven South Pier. Cotton says he heard the typical background noise of a busy beach on a hot day, but he picked up on an undertone of panic. Grand Haven police confirmed to the Holland Sentinel that a 17 year old boy was struggling near the South Pier. Cotton heard the chaos and then he saw it. They were calling out for help and I heard a couple other people yelling for the life ring. With all the chaos unfolding, Maverick knew he was in the right place at the right time. He turned around, he saw one of these and jumped into action. I just happened to just turn around and it was right behind me. So I was the first one to it. So I just grabbed it and just gave it the best throw I had. <laughs> Unfortunately, his best shot landed too far from the victim. Everyone struggled to untangle the knotty rope, so they just threw the whole thing in. Things only got more intense from there. And I was kind of watching the victim go underwater, and I'm like, this guy is about to be done, and no one's going to be around him. So next thing I thought of was just jump in after him. Cotton's a strong swimmer who knows his way around the water. He and his cousin jumped in using the life ring eventually to pull the limp, pale 17 year old to safety. Cotton thinks safety officials should hold free demonstrations so that these lifesavers don't slow down rescues. When we just grabbed it off there, the rope is all just all knotted up on there. So when we just pulled it off, it was like, we don't have time to try figuring out what ends what and untie it. So it was just get it out there. And that family tonight, I'm sure so happy that they did just get out there and help that teenager. We did call Grand Haven Public Safety for more details about what exactly happened in the 17 year old Kent County boy and his condition. They never returned our calls tonight. Our teams posted beach safety tips inside this story on woodtv.com. Marley. All right, Marvis, thank you.